Hi there, Ryan with FlexFi LEDs, and here we are staring at an aluminum housed power supply and a, vo a voltmeter and a screwdriver. What we're going to talk about is how to adjust the voltage on your aluminum housing power supply, assuming you have the uh, voltage adjustment screw right there in the front. The first important step is that you have the power supply in the right setting. So if it does have the option, um, either 115 or 230, there's a little switch in on this particular power supply that's on the side here, the ones that um, we saw on our website currently, the 10 amp and 8 amps. You come down through the top, make sure it's unplugged while you do it, and there's a little switch down inside. Um, that you can see through the top because there's a bunch of little holes and stuff. And you just take a pointed object like a screwdriver or you know whatever, and you can flip it back and forth. If you don't have it on the right setting, the voltage output on the to the lights will be different and uh, and won't give you what you need. So what we're going to show you is how to use this the handy dandy voltage meter to make sure that your stuff is is good to go, kind of like a troubleshooting. Um, make sure that your AC lines come in. Uh, the 120 come into this side with the N and the L um, and then this symbol right here is for ground so if you're running a ground then uh, that's where that plugs into the sticker that they use on this particular power supply the geniuses that they are it um, isn't quite perfect so you're like well which is which well if you have three screw heads for one two three and then you got six left then you divide the six and a half you got three positives and three negatives on this particular power supply. We used a power supply that wasn't from our website um, to show you that it's pretty universal the steps that I'm showing you. So even if you're not buying your product from us, you can still utilize this video to your benefit. So I'm going to show you where you make your adjustments first. So to make a voltage adjustment, there's usually a little indicator. Now, I don't know, it might be kind of tough to read. But right here it says VO adjustment, so voltage adjustment, and there's a screw here, and just real lightly we're going to adjust it on that. The green LED light tells us that there's power moving towards, so that was the uh, voltage meter beeping at me, um, tells us that there's power to the unit. So first step is reading your, turning on your voltage meter. Now there's a bunch, a bunch of different voltage meters on the market, right? So you got to figure out which is for you. This particular one has a lot of options, right? Kind of freaks, freaks most people out. So what we need to do is we need to find the V with a with a bar, horizontal bar next to it, and a bunch of dots or dashes underneath it. That's a symbol for direct current. Then you have, let's see if we can see it here. It says common, right here on the black wire. So the black wires are common. The red wire is your positive, okay? So in terms of what's shown on the power supply, black is to the negative, red is to the to the positive. Black is to the common, red is to the positive, okay? Now there's within that range, there's a bunch of different bunch of different numbers, okay? Well that just tells us if you watch the screen as I flip it, we'll notice that the amount of decimal places change on that so we're looking at how deep are we going how how close are we when we talking about voltage are we a thousandth are we uh, you know a hundredth a tenth or dead on right so we're gonna be working with this at a thousand so it'll be it'll show us the voltage to one so I take my handy dandy meter I'm gonna try and keep it in the screen as best I can put the red on the red the black on the black we'll see what it reads and it reads 24 volts okay now what I'm gonna do is we want that's right where we want it right but let's say it was at 23 so I'm gonna make my adjustment I take this very carefully and I'm gonna adjust it down so slightly you might not even be able to see me move it and we'll put the comment on here positive here we're now at 22 now let's see if I can set this up so you can see the adjustment as it occurs. So we'll hold these like this. Positive here, common here. All right, it's reading 22. Now it says turn it to the right to bring up the voltage. 
23, 24. Perfect. And that's it. We're adjusted to 24 volts. Hope this helps. Uh, always consult an electrician before you do any work like this. Um, it can be pretty easy if I was to touch this on the AC side and then put this to the ground, I can damage my unit um, or I can hurt myself. So guys, be careful when you're doing this stuff. And um, well, good luck to you. Bye.